Hey friends, so I am back and I'm going to do our lesson for day five using Amazing Grace. If you have not listened to this story already, go back and watch that before you listen to this video because it won't make sense if you don't. So go back so you can get familiar with the story and you can hear our story as a whole before we start kind of picking it apart. So if we look at our packet, day five, we're thinking about the plot and the setting. And with that, we're really focusing on the problems that our character is facing, or maybe just one problem that a character is facing. Facing, We're thinking about how that problem was solved and how our character felt once it was solved. And so I kind of have three, maybe five, main characters, if you want to count them all. I have Grace, I have Nana, I have Ma, I have Raj, and Natalie. So if I'm thinking about who the story is mostly about, all those characters make an appearance, they all have a part in the story, but our story is mostly about Grace. So I have to figure out who my character is before I can think about my problem or my story. I have to think, okay, who's my character? It's Grace. And so now that I have my, prob my character, I can think about what problem Grace faced. And so I know if I'm going back and thinking about my story, I'm going to kind of walk through it. Um, at the beginning, it's telling you about how Grace um, hears story and she imagines things. They're talking about her creativity, her imagination, and how she just kind of does whatever she wants when she, is in, when she is inspired or when she hears a story. And so really... The first half of the book, we're just learning about Grace, who she is as a person, and that's something that we're going to look at tomorrow. But then we get to this scene at school, and the teacher says that they're going to have the Peter Pan play, and that they're going to have to pick a Peter. And so Grace, right here, raises her hand, and Raj says, well, you can't be Peter. You're not a boy. Peter is a boy. It's a boy's name. But Grace, she doesn't put her hand down. She keeps it up. And then Natalie whispers to Grace and says, hey, you can't be Peter, you're black. And Grace says, whoa. And so she still keeps her hand up. But all these people are telling her, you can't do this, you can't be this, you can't, you can't, you can't. And so that is our problem in our story, is that people are telling Grace, hey, you can't do this. And so if that is our problem, we have to figure out, how does Grace solve this? You know, all these people are telling her, you can't do this. And so Grace talks to her mom, she talks to her grandmother, and they tell her, they don't know anything. You can be anything you want if you want to. And so Grace starts believing in herself again, because if you hear, well, you can't do this, you can't do that, you might kind of stop believing that you can do it. But luckily, she believed in herself, and she had her mom and her grandma to help her out, to help her believe in her. Kind of like how Miss Coker always believes in you guys. And I always push you on so that you can try your best. And I know that you'll accomplish things that you put your mind to. And so Grace is talking to them. And then her Nana takes her to the ballet where she learns about this ballerina, Rosalie uh, Wilkins, and how she grew up where her grandmother grew up, and how she had to overcome some things to be the first um, ballerina like her. So maybe that could be um, a ballerina from Trinidad. That could mean a ballerina that was black. It could mean anything. But that ballerina had to work really hard to overcome problems, kind of like the problems that Grace is facing right now. And so when she sees that this ballerina was able to overcome her problems, by believing in herself and not giving up, Grace starts to realize, well, I can overcome my problem with people telling me that I can't be Peter Pan by not giving up. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to believe in myself. I can do anything that I want to. And so because she keeps believing in herself, she does overcome that problem, and she eventually gets the part as Peter Pan. And so the problem gets solved by Grace not giving up on herself and by believing that she can do anything. And at the very end, we know that she, if, I mean, you really, if you just look at the picture, look at Grace's face in all of this. She has a smile. Her head is held high. So that helps us know, hmm, how does Grace feel 
about overcoming this problem, she's proud of herself. Her head is held high. Think about when you're proud of yourself. You're kind of like, yes, I did it. This is me. I got it. And so that helps us know we can use our pictures, but we can also use our text. And the end of our text says, after it was all over, she said, I feel as if I could fly all the way home. And think about when you're flying. That's because you're so high up here. You feel so good. You feel light and breezy. Nothing's weighing you down. And so Grace realized, I believe in myself. I can do anything. I can be proud of myself. I can accomplish anything I want to. And so I can use my pictures to help me know how Grace feels at the end when she overcomes her problem. But I can also use my text thinking about, okay, if I'm going to fly, I'm normally not sad if I want to fly. Ooh, I must be happy. I must be proud. I must be excited. And so that is how we can think about how Grace overcame her problem people telling her that she can't do something. Then she solved the problem by not giving up and by believing that she could do anything. She talked to some adults that she knew believed in her. So maybe if you're ever feeling like Grace where somebody's telling you that you can't do something, you talk to an adult who you know believes in you, like I believe in you and you know everybody at school believes in you and your family at home believes in you. She talked to them. She realized, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to do this. And at the end, she felt proud of herself for not quitting and for not giving up and for accomplishing what she set out to do. So that is our lesson for day five. Now I want you to think back to the giving truth. And I want you to think about who your character is. There's two characters in this book. I want you to think about what maybe is a problem that the boy is facing. Maybe what is a problem that the giving tree is facing? How are those problems solved? And how do they feel once the problem is solved? You guys go have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.